let me introduce you to the most toxic father and daughter streamers on the internet. Ben Thorpe, aka Abel, and Grace Thorpe, aka Joan. Now, their live streams are complete nonsense. You have mental breakdowns, emotional abuse, racism, e-begging. It is a mess. Now, let me tell you how this all started. About a month ago, YouTube recommended me this live stream, and it was a woman and a man in a casino begging for money because they were out of money and she wanted to get a burger. Now, I found that extremely odd, but then the woman stated that she would be willing to say any racist obscenities for money. I'm starving. Like, I'm absolutely, I'm literally starving. I have no food. I really think a yeah. frozen margarita would make everything a lot better. It's only $12 and beer. Please. Now, after watching that, I told myself this has to be the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure there's a lot more depravity involved here. And there was this creepy guy in the video. He was rocking a prominent Amber Alert mustache. Now, I thought it's just an old creep that's hanging out with her and just being a weirdo. Imagine the surprise when I found out that that was actually her father because during that live stream first of all she was e-begging and she was also sexualizing herself saying a bunch of very creepy stuff to her audience and no good father would actually listen to this crap and put up with it but this guy actually encourages it. So I started peeling the onion of this extremely strange streaming duo and it just got worse and worse. Now the first thing we're gonna take a look at is just the mental abuse that this asshole puts her through. Now trust me, she's not innocent. She's already proven that she'll do anything for clout, even saying racial obscenities. But it doesn't erase the fact that there's something really off about this live stream. Check this out. I shouldn't have said you were acting like a bitch. I just, I don't know. You're not doing this? Okay, so you don't want to stream or you want me to stream? You don't want to be on the stream? I don't know what to tell you. You decided to do what you decided to do. You've been acting completely crazy and then now that you're streaming, you maximize the craziness to alienate me. You figure out what you want to do now. It's not my problem. It's your problem. Okay. All right. And you treat me like shit and I'm sick of it. So you wanted to do, you don't want to stream. You're a victim of that. You're a victim of the elevator not working. You're a victim of having to put a card in twice on the door. You're a victim of everything. You're sneezing like a crazy. You're saying your sinuses are acting up. It's 24 hours a day, you're just a victim? 24 hours a day? You're a victim of streaming, you ended your stream. I said, no problem. You got beautiful sandwiches, like the best sandwiches I've ever seen in my life. And you were a victim of that. Now, obviously, we don't know the entire situation of what's happening here, but you can't help but hear the condescending, gaslighting tone that the father is talking to his daughter with. And it's like, this crap doesn't belong on YouTube. You guys are having some type of family drama. Do it behind the scenes. But yet, it's like, this is their content. Watching their live streams is kind of like watching an accident. It's horrible. It's terrifying. You don't want to watch it, but yet you cannot look away. Now, the gaslighting went on for quite some time in this live stream. You attacked me. You're a victim of everything. You don't want to do anything. You're a victim of everything. You're acting in totally and absolutely batshit hysterical. I'm acting hysterical? Yeah. How am I acting hysterical? Sneezing. You're angry about the microphones, the beautiful microphones. You're a victim of the microphones. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm, okay, all right, yes, I act a little bit like a victim of the microphones, yeah. A little bit? I don't really think that's... You're a victim of the RV, you're a victim of the chair. <laughs> I'm sitting there trying to make it nice and comfortable for Yeah. You. Why don't you let me finish this? I'm sorry, that was... You... Oh, and now we do that. That it was too quick. I knew it was too quick. Why is it that anyone would want to be around someone who treats them like this every day? What are you angry about? Now, this woman is in her mid-20s, and she spends her entire life 
in an RV traveling with her father doing live streams. And it is just something that is quite an existence. I mean, women in their 20s should be working on their career, trying to find a husband or a wife, whatever you prefer, and just, you know, moving forward in life. And instead of doing that, she is spending every single waking moment with her dad live streaming. It's very weird. Now, there's another incident where they were in the RV and she was having what you would call a breakdown, a mental breakdown. She was raging at some issues she had in the past. And the father is just there recording this shit, putting it on the Internet. And it's still up on the Internet at this moment which is unreal. It's like this shit should be happening behind the scenes. You should not air your dirty laundry like that online. Check this out and let me know what you think about this. You're gay! You are gay! You watch Superman and you dream of being Lois Lane! You are gay, nigga! You're gay! Cult thinking is so crazy. I have to apologize for telling you to go fuck yourself but just because you don't say go, just because you don't swear, Grandpa, doesn't mean you don't say in a million fucking ways, go f yourself. When my siblings are in your backyard and you tell my dad, can you gather your offspring and leave my premises? Just because you don't use swears, you p doesn't mean you're not telling us to go f ourselves. So imagine you're an employer and then you do the usual social media background research on a candidate and you find this video. Obviously, she has no chance whatsoever. They would not hire someone that is that unhinged. Now, she had somewhat of a moment and I mean that happens to everybody. But the problem here is that they're recording their entire lives. So when she has these breakdowns, it's on the Internet for everybody to see. Now, I think the reason why the dad allows this crap on the channels is because he's a desperate cloud chaser. You see, he is a Christian that debates atheists and his channel was not taking off. As you guys can see, the views were miserable, and then he decided to bring his daughter in, and the shit show started. And now they're getting some type of attention, even though it is negative attention. So once again, this is clearly a fucked up family that is airing out their dirty laundry on YouTube. It's just sad, it's a train wreck, and shame on the guy. For real, shame on the guy. I mean, she might be a cloud goblin as well. She might be desperate for attention. But as a dad, you should protect your kids. And allowing them and encouraging them to do this crap is completely ridiculous. Especially when he's part of it and he seems just as desperate for attention as she is. Now, let me know what you think of this model family. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. And I'll see you guys on the next one.